was CIPRO, which is the Fort Knox, the Companies and Intellectual Property Registration Office, or rather it should be uh, more secure than Fort Knox, has been infiltrated by people who work there, people who are bribed to change at will the names of companies. And if you work for, well, go and have a look on the MoneyWeb website. There are 114 de dodgy registrations that we've put, to, uh, put up there that we've listed so far. And just to give you some of the names, Avusa, um, an account has been named, uh, opened Avusa Media Gauteng, um, Adcock Ingram, Kadak, Chipkins, part of the Joffe Group, Eli Lilly, Melrose Arch, Nampak, Pastel, Schindler Lifts, even the SPCA. It doesn't seem like anyone is immune from these fraudsters now. We've got the story for you. Request for any refund of that nature comes. Before that refund is made, it must be really carefully investigated. So when you have a different, when someone says to you, we've changed our bank account. It, it, you cannot accept it just on, on face value. In fact, in that case, the MD of the company or the financial director should verify that independently because obviously somewhere there's collusion because where did they get the information of exact amounts, exact dates, get the letterhead or even what a letterhead looks like in order to fabricate one. So there's collusion somewhere along the line. The only way to cut out that collusion is independent verification with somebody that you know in that company. So you know the financial director personally, call him personally. But what must be worrying in a case like this is how many other clients of this company and many other companies have been taken and they just don't know they've been taken yet. Well, there, there could be hundreds because people, unfortunately, trust people and they trust paper and they trust what they see. And when they see the facts, they see the invoice, they see the deposit, they trust that things are up and on the up and up. But you cannot do that. Refunds are a prime target for fraud. So if anybody says to you, I've overpaid you, I've changed my banker details, you have to independently verify with somebody you personally know at that company. It seems like there's an epidemic or a pandemic, as James Marburg described it today. Is it getting worse? Definitely, Alec, because I think it's a combination of uh, the tough economic times that we have, uh, the perhaps a, a, an approach, an attitude, maybe even a national attitude that we have of a, of a culture of entitlement which, which goes towards it, we have a lot of, of foreign-based or, or foreign substance criminal syndicates. A lot of these things are not operated by, by, by South Africans. They are very sophisticated. You remember the case with the uh, SMS confirmation for banking details. People said it is absolutely impossible. The system is foolproof. It cannot be intercepted. Well, it was. And it's done by very sophisticated people operating very sophisticated syndicates. And we are a target. Be on your guard. Be on your guard. And uh, when you see the headlines in media outlets about fraud taking off and this kind of thing, you, I guess it's, it's like when you see the statistics on crime, what won't happen to me. Well, in fact, it can. And the thing is, Alec, people regard, companies generally regard training of staff to be a grudge purchase. It's something I don't have to do now. Economic times are tough. But when better to increase the awareness of your company and put your your guards up is right now, not when you, can, you think you can afford to do it. You've got to do it now. The crisis is now. A global recession doesn't have to stop your money's progression.